hey virgo summon rising venus this is what we got going on for march 8th 2021 let's get it virgos seven of swords nine of swords and the four of pentacles here sweeties you guys could be dealing with another virgo uh cancer taurus a libra pisces and aries a capricorn all right virgos let's get it and then we have everybody else here, Virgos, as well, okay? Coming in with the Seven of Swords here, Virgos. Uh, so you or the person that you guys was dealing with, Virgos, they're trying to figure out what's going on, okay? They they want, they want remember, you were, you guys remember that this person could have lied, cheated, thieved on you, whatever the case is, but you guys are reflecting on it. Coming in with the Hermit cards to the Seven of Swords, like, mm, I remember when you did this, all right? This is how you guys are looking at it. Um... <laughs> That's how you guys are looking at it, Virgos. Like, I remember when you did, when you cheated on me. I remember when you abandoned me, left me. I remember when you when you didn't care when I was crying. Seven of Swords to the Hermit card, right, Virgos? This person's going to be stressed out, especially if you guys don't end up giving this person a second chance here, Virgos. Because it looks like they're coming back it very much so impulsive. This is somebody here, Virgos, who has a lot of money. They have a lot of money. They love to go and do extravagant type of things. They love to go out to eat. Uh, they like to dress well, look good at all times, right? But especially if you guys don't end up taking this person back, Virgos, they are going to suffer with the Nine of Swords. They're going to have sleepless nights, anxiety, stress, um, insomnia. They're they're just emotionally unstable at the moment coming in with the Page of Cups in reverse there, Virgos, okay? Uh, you guys are, may not want to be expressing yourself wholeheartedly to this person, especially if they ended up cheating on you coming in with the Seven of Swords energy there, Virgos, okay? Or at least attempted to try and do you guys something. But <clears throat> you guys may end up blocking this person, especially what I'm seeing here, Virgos, you guys are going to try and block this person from entering your heart space is, is what I'm seeing here, okay? But this, I do see that you guys are healing from whatever this person had done to you. Also, Virgos, you guys may end up reconciling with this person, like literally seeing face to face with this person uh, soon, to, to be quite honest, okay? I do feel like this is a soulmate connection here, Virgos, especially with the Hierophant to the High Priestess there. I feel like it is a soul, uh, a soulmate connection, but this person is at a distance from you here, Virgos, like 40 minutes away, 45, 50 minutes, maybe even an hour away from you guys, two and a half hours, but, and anything more than that, all right? This person's going to start messaging you here, telling you how they want to be in a relationship with you. I do see them coming towards you here, coming in with the chariot card, Virgos. They miss you wholeheartedly, okay? They miss you very much. They know that you're the empress. They know that you're very gorgeous, beautiful, handsome. The whole nine, Virgos. You're everything that this person ever wanted. And they are so regretful, Virgos. And so stressed out that, that you may not end up wanting to take this person back because of how they treated you and mistreated you in the past there, okay? You guys might be a little bit fearful because this person could have been a little bit immature, causing a lot of uh, Seven of Cups energy here, like a lot of illusions. But I do feel like this person may have gotten their karma, but I do see it also moving forward as well. You guys may end up actually giving this person a second chance. You guys are beautiful, Virgo, single, independent, loving, kind, caring, compassionate. Um, this person, Libra energy, they're going to want to come in. They're going to want to balance out the scales. They are taking a risk to come towards you, especially them knowing that they have hurt you. They don't. So the risk would be that even though you're not opening up your heart space to this person, this person is going to do whatever they have to do to come towards you. You guys may intuitively already know that this person's coming back for you guys, Virgos. Um, but at the end of the day, if this person tries to come back towards you guys, I don't know if you guys are actually going to want it. Maybe this person suffered from some sort of drug addiction, um, in the past, but it's saying now they're not doing drugs anymore. They're not doing drugs anymore, Virgos. Maybe this person's a little bit snobby as well, but I don't see them doing drugs anymore, okay? They're not interested in the, in the drugs. They're not interested in that. They changed, actually, to be honest with you. I do see that this person has changed. They're not... I can see it in my head exactly what kind of drug it is, Virgos, but I don't want to say it. I don't know if I'm allowed to say it, but I'm sure you guys know what drug that is. Okay, so at the end of the day, you guys actually may not want this person to come back into your life. Even if they do end up stopping the drugs or whatever the case is, but I don't know if you guys are going to want them because you guys are still reflecting on the past of what had happened in the past, but the cup that they're coming towards you with, it's actually tangible, Virgos. They do have a cup to come bring you with. This person's very loving, kind, caring, a Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here, a Libra, Taurus, a Cancer, another Virgo. All right, they want to come back towards you, here, Virgos, especially if you end up walking away from them, sweetie, because it looks like 
it looks like you guys may end up actually walking away from this person here virgos and you guys may just leave them but when you guys if you guys end up doing that virgos it's saying here with the five of cups that this person's going to be very very regretful and very sad that they treated you really badly in the past and they thought that maybe you guys would end up giving this person a second chance but you guys already know your worth coming with the nine of pentacles there virgos you already know your worth you you've already done the healing with the three of cups energy there this whole time you guys have been healing taking care of yourself but this person really does miss you a whole lot they know that you who you are and, and what it is that you bring to the table this person may also know that you are a high priestess or knows that you're an empath a light worker um a psychic for that matter like they, they don't care that you're like that they they accept you for exactly who you are for some of you guys there Virgos, this person may have a, a, a manager position here virgos or a high job that they do like a high-end job is what i'm trying to say but i do th feel like this person may have done drugs virgos to be honest with you okay they've been through a lot of stuff themselves it's not like oh they haven't no everybody goes through their own shit virgos but it's how you choose to be when you treat people, that's a whole other story. That's that's you trying to show your characteristics to people, and if people want to be ugly, then that's not on you. That's on them, all right, Virgos? At the end of the day, I feel like this person does want to come back to being with you, Virgos. <sighs> this person, or this person, Virgo, is very much so heartbroken because I do think, I'm pretty sure, Virgo, that this is your soulmate. And when they had had you back in the past, I don't feel like they were ready to be in a relationship. Maybe some of you guys were looking for marriage, but they just wasn't ready to be to be in that type of um, stable commitment. But it looks like they are now. It looks like they want to come back, Virgos, but they are definitely heartbroken. Um, they do. It looks like, Virgos, that they want to come back towards you. They want to put their energy into the situation and make it work. But you guys could have been very much so patient. But then eventually your patience had run out and you guys just kept it moving, Virgos, all right? So maybe here, there you go, Knight of Cups. All right, Virgos, so it looks like this person wants to come back towards you. They have a very good job. They want to make the relationship work, okay? They had, do have marriage on their mind. Uh, it could also be a Sagittarius here and Aries as well. This person's so stressed out over you, Virgos, because they know, they know, they know that. There you go. They know that you're a business person, okay, or someone who has a business, somebody who works very, very hard. Um, they know that you focus a lot on your money, and they're aware that you're not going to really give them the time of day. Maybe you guys' schedule is different from each other, so maybe this person uh, works like a 9 to 5, and you guys work a late, later shift or whatever the case is, but that's just because you guys are so much so uh, chasing your money. You guys are always chasing your money. Eight of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. You're not worried about, you're not, you don't care, Virgos. You're at that stage in your life where it's like, okay, well, you know, if you're not going to bring me anything towards me, then I'm just going to focus on my money and, and, and get the bag. Like what? All right. So you guys are doing good manifesting here, Virgos, but just be careful if this is the type of person who's going to end up manipulating you or whatever the case is. But I do feel like they do want to come back towards you and they want to win you back with the Five of Swords energy. I feel like they, they want to win you back. To the Knight of Cups. They're going to do whatever they have to. Because they know that you are the very loving, compassionate, caring Virgo. They're, they're, they're wishing. They're actually wishing on a star. Hoping that they're going to be able to come back towards you. Maybe this person, like, again, I'm going to say it, at a distance. So the, some of you guys, this person would have to jump on a plane to come towards you as well. Aquarius energy. Um, yeah, Virgos. All right, Ten of Wands. So this person's filled with a lot of burden here, Virgos. Especially if you guys don't end up taking this person back, they are going to be a lot of burdens, okay? So they are going to start talking to you. They are going to be very, very truthful with you. The truth that they're going to be saying to you may actually end up hurting you with the Ten of Swords because I think this is a very blunt type of person where they're not, they don't really, how do I say it? They're kind of insensitive with the Page of Cups energy in reverse there. They're kind of insensitive about other people's feelings. People who go through a lot of shit, Virgos, in life, they kind of forget that other people have feelings, all right? Three of Pentacles. So this person here, Virgos, okay. <sighs> Three of Pentacles here, Virgos, all right, sweethearts. And then five of Pentacles. So maybe this person had left you out in the cold, and they're going to explain to you why they had done that and why they had abandoned you. Some of you guys also have abandonment issues, Virgos, as well. Um, 
and you guys just don't want to deal with that shit anymore sweethearts okay this person is very much so attracted to you virgos two of pentacles now they're okay so maybe this person was juggling you with somebody else here maybe this person also had a mistress here virgos <sighs> well whatever the mistress thing is over they're not together with the mistress anymore okay it's done and over with here virgos okay so also three of pentacles ten of wands all right, Virgo, some of you guys are working at your workplace, but you're not making enough money. It's bringing you guys a lot of burden, okay? It's not enough money to hold you guys down. Page of Swords, Scorpio energy there. Maybe there's a Scorpio here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who's watching you very hard, Virgos. Uh, but this person looks like they want to be back in a relationship with you. They want a rebirth is what I'm picking up here. It could also be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person wants to come in. Look at this, Virgo. That's a lot of money. Look at this. That's crazy. Ooh. That's boss energy, Virgos, right there, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person makes a lot of money, Virgos. A lot of money. This is somebody, an Earth, like an Earth, Virgo, okay, an Earth sign. They always about their money. Always. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn are always about their money, okay? That's just what they do. This person wants to come towards you here, sweeties. They want to spoil you, take you out. They want to express to you how much they love you, Virgos. A lot of abundance is coming to you guys as well. Make sure you just use your intuition here, Virgos, all right? Because this Taurus Virgo Capricorn <laughs> is going to be coming towards you guys. But you must use your intuition because maybe there's somebody else. There's two people here, Virgos. Who are these two people? Okay. Let me see. If you guys are dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius here, Virgos, <sighs> just make sure you guys, Virgos, use your, use your intuition when it comes to these other people. Just be mindful because what if this person's giving to actually more than one person? And then if the, and if you guys find out that, that this person's giving to more than one person, Virgos, you guys are going to cuss them out. And then you guys are going to say, you know what? I'm too sexy for this. I don't need this shit. I'm out. Victory. You guys end up winning, all right? Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. There's an Aries Leo Sagittarius wants to come towards you, Virgos. Maybe you guys have this person blocked at the moment or whatever the case is. But you guys are going to be def definitely defensive, all right? This person is coming in for intimacy. Um, this person's at a distance here from you, Virgos. But you guys may end up staying silent from this person. Leo energy here as well. There, this, there's, a, there's a Leo Virgos who has a lot of secrets and who's been very deceptive towards you guys. Seven of Pentacles. five of wands so there's a gemini libra aquarius here virgos who planted a lot of seeds here with a lot of seeds here with you but they had a lot of secrets and a lot of mystery within themselves it could be a leo a pisces um a gemini libra aquarius who always argued with you over stupid shit but they are definitely feeling shameful for the way that they always put you in competition and always having you compete with other bitches or other mandems or whatever the case here virgos but at the end of the day the world card. All right, this person's at a distance from you, Virgos. They're coming towards you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. They want to talk to you. They're calling judgment on the situation, and they're realizing, Virgos, like, damn, you are the one that they want to be with. Ten of Cups. They want to be in a relationship with you here, Virgos. This person woke up, okay? This person still hasn't let go of you as well with the Three of Wands energy. They're waiting for the right time to come back towards you, but when that time comes and it starts nicking at them because judgment, judgment's here. It's, it's now or never, you can pretty much say, Virgos, it's literally now or never. It's like, are you going to make a move now or are you going to wait until 10 years from now to make that move? Because this opportunity with uh, with you, Virgos, it's not going to last forever, to be quite honest with you guys. People need to like jump on it because you guys are coming in as the Empress underneath the Six of Cups, the High Priestess, the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. You're literally perfect, Virgos, to be quite honest with you guys. And anybody who doesn't jump on that and take the right, doesn't jump on the boat at the right time, they're going to miss out on a huge opportunity. But it looks like this person has received their karma for the way that they've treated you and they're waking up to it. Be careful, Virgos, for some of you guys, if this person is dealing with more than one person. There is somebody here, Queen of Swords energy. Maybe there's somebody here who they had a baby with that baby mom she's like a complete she's a, she's a shithead and then the other one she does her own thing she don't really care about anybody's feelings to be honest with you the queen of wands she does her own thing she comes and goes as she pleases the queen of swords she has more 
she's more feisty where the other one is more sassy like yo you don't want to give me the time of day okay well i'm gonna go somewhere else it's, it's more like that energy here virgos but you guys are the empress so maybe this person was juggling you with other other people here too but it looks like this person actually wants to be with you and not be with anybody else if this person was doing drugs in the past here virgos they're not doing drugs anymore they're done with they're done with it here it looks like to me and uh, just make sure you guys continue to use your intuition because your intuition will never lie to you thanks cuties bye